A really great opportunity for a young up and coming artist. That's what Lisa Jordan of the Crossing Arts Alliance said about the painting of murals at the Crow Wing County Fair. Chris Burns caught up with that artist to talk about her biggest project yet. For more than 100 years, the Crow Wing County Fair has brought rides, animals, and fun. This year, they've turned to the public to add more color. There are multiple reasons to check out the bathroom at the fair. The third reason is to check out the mural being painted by the Crossing Arts Alliance. But that's not the only mural being painted here. The Crossing Arts Alliance has taken over the fine arts building at the fair. And part of our partnership was an effort to bring more public art to the fairgrounds. And so we helped identify the artist and write the grant in order to bring her out there. Lisa Jordan from the Crossing Arts Alliance contacted me knowing that the fairground was looking for a mural and thought that my style and work um, fit best. A style that has been developed from a young age and had more than a decade to fine tune itself. Now Molly May has her biggest canvas to paint that comes with a little time crunch. The deadline is something that's been um, definitely a little bit more pressure, but I'm up to and stuff. I can work on a deadline. The deadline, of course, being before the fair comes to town. When starting with a painting this big, May starts with a smaller sketch, then just eyeballs the proportion onto the wall, something she's had practice in. I used to work in Pequot Lakes at the Community Performing Arts Theater in set design. So um, I worked with Tim Leisure, who, who showed me kind of how to like small scale drawing it out, how you get it to that big scale and stuff like that. So I, I had that in the back of my mind and stuff. When coming into a project with the client wanting the mural to be agriculturally centric, May realizes that's priority number one. But she also remembers to include her twist on her perception of that. I incorporated specifically the sunflowers because I really like um, doing florals and stuff like that. Uh, certain things it's kind of remembering that the client came to me for my work, you know, to make sure that it fits their vision, but also I'm not watering down myself. That vision is now plastered on the stage walls for everyone coming to the fair to enjoy. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. May plans to have the mural finished a week before the fair opens. That fair runs from August 3rd until August 7th. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.